Hey everyone, so it is Nicole here on Lesbian Central, and I am covering, covering, filling in for fresh. I can't think, I'm really tired. Um, sorry, this video is up late again, and I'm using my webcam. I am not at home to access my good camera. I am in California right now. The topics for this week are derogatory comments and how to deal with that, and then I've said this like 50 times. <laughs> oh, yeah, how to deal with your thoughts and just kind of how to, you know, speak proper English. I'm going to cover both of those. The derogatory comments probably isn't going to be as helpful as you all hoped, but I will give it my best shot. So for derogatory comments, honestly, there's not a whole lot that you can really do. Because if someone's going to say something, then they're going to say something. And you can't really control other people. Um, what someone has to say really has absolutely nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. And then how you respond to what they say has to do with you and your character. And I know this is the very last thing you're going to want to hear. But kill them with kindness. Um, just kind of say thanks for your concern or ignore it and walk away. Really, it's been said, There's, it's not going to help to be a complete asshole back that does nothing. So, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about that topic, which I probably shouldn't have even covered it, but whatever. Um, so the next one is dealing with your thoughts, which this one should be a lot of fun. I don't deal with my thoughts too well. <laughs> um, I either go make... Okay, I used to not deal with my thoughts too well, but I've learned how to. Um, Tumblr is really good. I actually have a personal blog on there where if something's going on or I'm having overbearing thoughts I'll go right on there. So it's like a little journal online for me because I like to type things out I just find it's easier for me to process my thoughts. I also will play my guitar and sing or like learn new songs and I find the best one is to just talk to someone which can be really hard especially if you're the kind of person who doesn't necessarily like opening up to people, but it's really good if you can find that one person or a few people who you can trust, who you feel completely comfortable talking to. Um, maybe even if you feel like you need to go see a therapist because they legally can't say anything to anyone. I see a psychologist, absolutely nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make you crazy, it doesn't make you weird. I feel like everybody in this world could use a therapist or a psychologist or someone like that. They're going to help you organize what's going on in your life. They're going to help you kind of sort through your thoughts. And they can push you to work on bettering yourself. I don't know how to explain it, but they can... Like, if I'm having a hard time, and I just think the world's coming to an end, my psychologist will put shit into perspective, let me tell you. Everyone kind of has their own outlets for things. It just really depends what that is. So for some people, it might be going for a run or painting, something that you guys really enjoy. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing is talking to someone, because... As great as writing is, it's always nice to have someone to listen and feedback. But if you don't want feedback, then writing is the perfect thing because I know you don't always want feedback. So, this was another shitty video. Woohoo! I never know how to end videos. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys whenever I see you. Thank you guys for watching. And I feel like a five-year-old. Okay. <laughs> Bye.